So how possible is surface modeling shaper? And why do we need it? Well, let's look at an example. Here I'm going to have a cylinder and I'm going to add another cylinder by extruding here on top. And then we're going to make that a new body. And let's say I want to edit that surface, but I want it to change in conjunction to my other surface. And as you can see, just moving that edge does nothing to the other one. Uh, even if it were together, it would still it wouldn't work the same way we're thinking about it. But since that's what we're trying to do, let's find a way how to do that in Shaper. So one way to do that is to project a line. Uh, there are a few negatives. Uh, first of all, when you're working with a cylinder, it only does half of it. So we're gonna have to do this on both sides, but let's start with one. Then we can just simply rotate and uh, project on the other side as well. So obviously this is easier if you're just doing one side of a wall, uh, but this is what we have to do. And as you can see, we can move the line around and we can edit it slightly. Keep in mind, uh, depending on the math, you might not be able to do certain things, but as seen here, you can move it and make weird shapes or AKA surface modeling. And although it's limited, it certainly does have its uses in certain designs. But if you were to say, hey, this is a direct modeling platform, why are you even attempting this? I would say you're absolutely correct, but sometimes you just need something a little bit different. Uh, so anyways, just bear with me for a second. Let's, let's do one more thing. Uh, let's move it up a little bit and see what we can do. Uh, let, you know what, let's twist it around a little bit. And we have to deselect first, but 45 degrees, then twist it out. And look, look at the shapes we can achieve. Uh, some things are possible, keep in mind, sometimes it will not let you, but look at this. Uh, we created a uh, some sort of duck face. And once again, you're gonna say, wait, Drew, uh, I can just loft this. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to disagree with you, and let me show you why. So to show you, first I have to get rid of that, but let's, uh, let's project that face on there so we have something to loft to, and not just some empty space. So usually just project and you choose that surface, that way you have it on there because if you selected just that top face, it would not have done so. Now we have to delete. Uh, so I typically, I just draw a shape, any shape that gets the job done. This is the easiest way for me uh, to half circle delete. Uh, this is what I typically do. But anyways, that gets the job done. And let's try lofting that and see what happens if we get a similar shape. And Oh, as you can see, we have so much more surfaces to work with now. This is not the smoothest edge. So again, why do we do surface modeling in Shaper? We usually don't, but if you do need it, now you know how. If you like this video, click that like button. If you think that you'll probably be learning some more stuff in Shaper, feel free to subscribe. I always do something in Shaper, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.